For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. During one of his most recent programs on CNBC, Jim Cramer discussed the Federal Reserve's ongoing efforts to manage inflation. He noted that the Federal Reserve is trying to ensure inflation is moving in the right direction before considering any rate cuts. According to Kramer, once the Federal Reserve initiates its first significant rate cut, it will create an environment where most businesses can thrive. His broader point was that an aggressive rate cut would be a game changer for many industries and sectors. Kramer, who is currently spending time in Silicon Valley, also emphasized that technology companies are unique in this regard. Unlike other sectors that may be heavily dependent on interest rates and Federal Reserve policy, technology firms are more insulated from these shifts. He went as far as to say that tech companies are not hostage to the Federal Reserve. Instead, these businesses are increasingly becoming automators, focusing on automation as a way to enhance efficiency and improve margins. By automating whatever tasks are possible, these companies are creating room to grow profits and boost their bottom line. Kramer further highlighted that the recent flow of capital into certain companies would not have occurred if the Federal Reserve had not started cutting rates. In his view, this is just the beginning of what could be a series of rate cuts, which will likely create a broader environment of optimism for the overall market. He referred to this as day one of many rate cuts to come, suggesting that this marks the start of a more favorable economic backdrop for investors across a variety of sectors. In the context of these market shifts, Kramer's stock picks take on added importance. One company that has been a recurring topic of discussion for Kramer is Palantir Technologies. However, despite its prominence in the market, Kramer has expressed some frustration when it comes to understanding what exactly Palantir does. He has openly stated that Palantir Technologies does not reveal much about its business model or operations, which makes it challenging for even experienced analysts like Kramer to get a clear picture of the company's long-term trajectory. In the second quarter of this year, the company reported an overall revenue increase of 27 percent compared to the same period in the previous year. This level of growth is impressive in its own right, but what really stands out is Palantir's performance in the U.S. commercial sector, where revenue surged by an astonishing 55 percent year over year. Palantir, thanks to its extensive experience working with military and defense systems, has leveraged this knowledge to create more reliable data tools, positioning it as a leader in the artificial intelligence space. Earlier this year, Palantir hosted an event where it shared specifics on how its clients are using its artificial intelligence platform to drive both cost reductions and profit increases. The company's artificial intelligence platform was launched about one year ago, and it has already made a significant impact on the operations of several major corporations. To illustrate this, let's look at some examples. Airbus, one of the world's leading aerospace companies, has been able to accelerate its A350 production by 33% with the help of Palantir's platform. Meanwhile, energy giant BP reported that it was able to reduce its costs per barrel by a substantial 60%. Engineering firm Jacobs Connect also benefited, cutting its power usage by 30% thanks to the implementation of Palantir's technology. The impact of Palantir's artificial intelligence doesn't stop there. Panasonic, a major player in the electronics industry, was able to decrease its overall waste by 12%. ESI Group, which specializes in virtual prototyping, was able to speed up its enterprise resource planning harmonization process by 70%. In the energy sector, PG&E reduced transformer ignitions by 65%, while Eaton boosted productivity by 25%. Even Tyson Foods, one of the largest food companies in the world, achieved $200 million in cost savings, underscoring the versatility and effectiveness of Palantir's technology across various industries. Despite these achievements, there are still concerns surrounding the valuation of Palantir's stock. Some investors are wary of its high trading multiples. As of now, the stock is trading at around 21.2 times the projected revenue for the next 12 months. For the upcoming year of 2024, Palantir expects its revenue to grow by 24% year over year, which would bring its total revenue to approximately $2,746,000,000. The company is also forecasting an adjusted operating income of $970,000,000, representing a margin of 35.3%. 
However, looking beyond 2024, growth is expected to slow somewhat. Over the next two years, Palantir's year-over-year -year growth rate is anticipated to drop to around 22%, which would potentially bring the company's total revenue to approximately $4 billion by the year 2026. If Palantir can continue to improve its margins by 100 basis points annually, it would be able to generate about $1.5 billion in adjusted operating income by 2026. When discounted at a rate of 8%, the present value of this income would be approximately $1.3 billion. Applying a growth multiple similar to that of the S&P 500, which ranges from 2.5 to 2.75 times earnings, Palantir's price-to-earnings ratio would be around 46. This would result in a price target of $27, which is significantly lower than its current trading price of $36. In its first quarter of 2024 investor letter, the Carillon Scout Mid-Cap Fund provided additional insight into Palantir's performance. According to the letter, Palantir was the top contributor to the fund's returns during the quarter. Investor sentiment toward Palantir improved notably after the company reported stronger-than-expected commercial customer revenue, as well as impressive free cash flow figures. Particularly encouraging was the growth in U.S. commercial revenue, which saw a substantial increase year-over-year year during the fourth quarter. Additionally, Palantir's U.S. commercial customer base also grew significantly. The Carillon Scout Midcap Fund expressed confidence in Palantir's future, stating that they expect the company to become one of the leading providers of artificial intelligence software, largely due to the strength of its foundry and artificial intelligence platforms. However, while Palantir continues to show promise, it is important to remain cautious. As a longtime observer of the market, I have seen Jim Cramer make bold statements about technology stocks in the past, sometimes with mixed results. For example, Kramer once criticized Tesla before the company became profitable and underwent stock splits. Given this track record, I believe it's worth taking Kramer's opinions with a grain of salt when it comes to complex technology companies like Palantir. That said, I still view Palantir as a solid long-term investment, particularly for those who believe in the transformative potential of artificial intelligence. However, for those interested in adding Palantir to their portfolio, it may be wise to wait for the stock to cool off a bit before making any moves. Palantir's strong performance in areas like U.S. commercial revenue growth and its ability to deliver cost-saving solutions to its clients underscores why it's considered one of the top artificial intelligence stocks. Investors should weigh these factors carefully and consider waiting for a price correction before investing. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.